strike a pose, there's nothing to it. The heat is cranking up today. And crushing world records along the way. I think the birds are singing because <laughs> I hear the sun is coming out to play. I'm so happy. It might be the ultimate don't try this at home. A Dallas woman is an expert sword swallower at nine months pregnant. It's National Pancake Day, and Shriners Hospital will be in the living room. It's okay, I'll take a bite. Well, it's a good mood elevator. It really was. I felt a difference. Just you know, walking around, it's like the sun is shining, the birds are singing, Taylor's happy. Taylor's happy. Taylor's probably out by the pool. Too. Right. Singing and dancing, you know. <laughs> Somebody catch that on video, please, oh so my we gosh. can show that please right here. Don't. <laughs> well, you can every morning if you want, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Have a finger licking announcement. The newest weapon in the breakfast wars is a biscuit shaped like a taco. Taco Bell is ditching the waffle taco and now launching the biscuit taco. Oh. For those of you who haven't tried it, you can get it filled with eggs, sausage, cheese, deep fried chicken, and jalapeno honey sauce. <laughs> so, Kristen, would you take a bite out of the taco biscuit. Yes. I mean, you'd want to put some junk in your trunk because oh. the Funky Junk Roundup is coming to town. We'll give you the details next. Camp's always about having a good time and getting out there and being, you know, interactive with activities, but you also offer an academic aspect to this whole program, but it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Not your typical study time. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm I would totally give that a try. Taylor would totally do it. I mean, she already has a dance party. All every day, morning. every day. Really <laughs> Potential ice. Yeah, here we Robert, go. you know I only like ice if it's in my tea. <laughs> One actually thought my toe was a little calamari <laughs> and took a nibble and I was all I was really freaked out. It was my first time with, you know, swimming with stingrays and I'm like, Oh gosh, they're after me. <laughs> and that's because who says there's no such thing as a free lunch? What reporter would imagine an exotic moth would lay eggs in his ears during a live shot? <gasps> CNN's G now to a whopper of an idea. <laughs> Burger King is set to sell a flame-grilled burger perfume in Japan. The best part, along with smelling like a burger, of course, you also get a free whopper along with your purchase. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that just yeah, sure. makes it better. Guys in the studio, there's no way in heck, I'd want to smell like a burger day in and day out, but to each his own, right? Yeah. Would you try it? Different. It's common knowledge that grandma makes the best chocolate chip cookies. But what do you do when grandma isn't available? You turn to store-bought cookies. But which brand gives you the best chunks for your buck? A blind taste test was done with 11 different store-bought cookies. They went crumb to crumb in a crunchy versus chewy competition. And drum roll, please. The winner is Entenmann's Original Recipe Chocolate Chip Cookies. Welcome, ladies. Thank How are you? you? Thank you for having us. Happy to have you here. Well, so the fact that this gala is Texas size means that it's a whole lot of fun. Yes, that's so correct. So tell us about it. I can't wait to get out there and put my sunnies on. The sunnies. <laughs> Robert, hey, I was thinking the best kind of sunnies for you would be the ones that flippy do up. <laughs> flippy <you know>? do. <laughs> I think that would fit your style really well. Well, tell us about your relationship. You've known each other since the early 2000s, and you have a very special bond because he's your mentor and teacher, Richard. Yes. Things are only getting busier in the juice world, and no, I don't mean Minute Maid. <laughs> we'll talk about the pros and cons to juicing when we come back. We have some breaking news out of Longview this morning. Police say a vehicle, possibly a white truck, ran into some poles at the intersection of South High Street and West South Street. Some breaking news out of France right now. French President Francois Hollande said it's likely there are no survivors in a crash of a German airliner in southern France. But as Netanyahu continues to express his concerns, supporters of the deal say this is the best it'll get. Many politicians and world leaders see the tentative deal to curb Iran nuclear program as a step in the right direction. The brutality of ISIS continues, so does the debate on how the U.S. should handle the terror group. Some in Congress believe ground troops are the only way to fully destroy ISIS. Among those is Rick Perry. The former governor of Texas said the U.S. needs to send a clear warning to the terror group. On CNN's Face the Nation, Perry was asked how he would send that message to ISIS if he were the next president. His attorney says Pew will plead not guilty. And now to a scary moment aboard a United Airlines flight Monday night. She said that ultimately we're not getting to the heart of the problem. 
And now this. Wall Street Journal columnist Peggy Noonan said that she has never seen the relationship between the U.S. and Israel in worse shape. Our winter weather coverage will continue in a bit, but first we want to turn to a hot button issue in D.C. Immigration. The hacking of the State Department email system over the past year is considered the worst ever against a government agency. That's what federal law enforcement, intelligence, and congressional officials tell CNN. A D.C. watchdog organization called Judicial Watch announced on Tuesday that the department refused to comply with an FOIA request. The request was made in July of last year for material relating to a terrorist hands-off list. Ted Cruz isn't the only Republican seeking the GOP nomination in 2016. He's facing off against more than a dozen high-profile Republicans who have expressed serious interest in a White House run. Greg Abbott has filed an amicus brief in opposition to the Obama administration's amnesty plan. A chapter is closing on the man infamously known to East Texans as the Lone Ranger Bandit. Yesterday, Richard Swicegood was sentenced for robbing more than a dozen banks. It was a deadly weekend on East Texas roads. In Angelina County, two people were killed early Sunday morning in a two-vehicle accident near Lufkin. A four-year-old was killed the exact same way. Both cases remain under investigation at this time. Two local colleges have received a warning from the Texas Board of Nursing. The Associated Press confirmed that Hillary Clinton used multiple devices for official State Department business. The AP reported that Hillary Clinton used her iPad in addition to her BlackBerry device while Secretary of State, despite the fact that she claims she only used one device for convenience. Islamic State-driven violence rages in Iraq. People are using any means possible to escape. For some, that means dressing in drag. You can do well and be well with diabetes, and there's an upcoming class to help you do so. You won't believe this. A gluten-free <laughs> diet is for the birds oh. in one Florida city. Now, Robert, I tried to catch the fog this morning, but I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I had so to. I had to. It was just too good to not share with y'all. Monkey business for you this Monday morning. Thank you so much for joining us and make it a great day. The choice is yours.